it's back to business uh, for the players of the Ghana Black Stars. Inyaki Williams, as you can see, he has spotted at the Atletico Bilbao Airport. Tonight, they play a game with uh, Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. And Inyaki has stated emphatically that he is not tired. I am well and prepared. I'm not tired. We are going to win against Barcelona which is an important thing this is what he said after arriving for a spanish club side athletic bilbao tonight they play a game as barcelona and iñaki is back with them after the black stars elimination was confirmed just yesterday he is back with his club side and talking about the black stars elimination being confirmed uh, one man who stood tall during the tough times uh, for ghana in the AFCON 2023, Alexander Juku has reacted to the team being eliminated once again from the group stages of the competition. In uh, two years ago, he was part of the team. Unfortunately, he's part of the team once again that have suffered this dramatic loss uh, in being eliminated from the group stages. He has reacted to it to have a look at it. We're also going to talk about Thomas Terry Party, who has given birth uh, to his first child. Some bit of good news on the front of the Ghana Black Stars as Party welcomes his first child. Then we'll look at the friendly the Ghana Black Stars are slated to play uh, with uh, the Argentine national team, the latest we have on it. And we'll look at Ibrahim Osman, a Right to Dream graduate, who is uh, courting uh, the attention of West Ham United here we'll look at all that today but as usual don't forget to subscribe if you have not and click on that notification bell to get more updates we'll jump right into it and first talk about alexander juku's uh, a reaction to the ghana black stars elimination from the group stages of uh, the african cup of nations for the second year in a row uh, second time in a row the ghana black stars have been eliminated from the group stages last time it was commerce that halted us and made it to the next round themselves with a 3-2 win this time mozambique uh, thwarted our efforts despite leading the game uh, with six minutes to go leading at 2-0 we could not hold on uh, to make it to the next round this is what ajiku the first to react to the elimination had to say we are disappointed and very sorry for our Ghanaian people that we have failed at this stage of the competition. But if you only knew how grateful we are to have been supported by you, our Ghanaian fans, words will certainly not be enough to erase the disillusionment. He is right about that. Words will not be enough. There will be no words that can be said that will console Ghanaian fans who were heartbroken, especially the manner in which it happened when uh, Ghana, many thought, were on their way to the round of 16. Heartbreak from Cameroon was over, uh, only for us to capitulate in such a manner versus Mozambique. Uh, thank you, Alexander Jiku. You did your best. You put your life on the line, literally. Unfortunately, it was not enough. As uh, we all failed, and you and the boys failed, uh, to get us over the line. It was unfortunate, a, co a combination of uh, coaching uh, mistakes, substitution mistakes, and all that, uh, that led us to this point. And uh, unfortunate news that it had to happen this way. But great, great response and great message there from Alexander Juku, who many are touting to be the next uh, Black Stars captain. Uh, let's not jump the gun. Let's not rush anyone into such positions in a national team. I think he's okay where he is and he's influencing things as and when he feels like it. And he's doing the right things wherever he is, whatever position he has with the national team. And talking about the African Cup of Nations, Ivorian manager uh, Jean-Louis Gasset has resigned. Yes. The Elephants can still qualify for the round of 16, but their coach has left the helm as the head coach of the team. In the scenario that they do qualify, MS5 uh, will step in as the interim for the rest of the tournament. And Tom Seinfeld, Gambia, has also resigned from his position as the head coach of Gambia. More, more resignations happening. Ghana's coach has been sacked. As Ivorian coach has left his post. Uh, Gambian coach has left his post. Algerian manager has also left his post. So a lot of fallouts from the AFCON elimination of countries 
at this point. And on to my next story, which is about the Ghana versus Argentina friendly, which is set to be played in March. As it stands now, the plan for the Argentine national team is to play two friendlies in March. They'll play in China uh, with China on the 18th of March. Then Ghana, they will play next. In who has welcomed his first child, a daughter, posted on his Instagram handle here. Uh, he has welcomed his first uh, baby. And we are excited for Thomas Party, the biggest blessing posted uh, by Party on his Instagram handle. You can see him here with his hand and his fiancée's hand with their baby girl. Congratulations to Thomas Party. We wish him all the very best in this new journey as a father. We wish and pray for the good health of his family, his new family here. I wish him all the very best. I'll end with a story on Osman Ibrahim. According uh, to a uh, transfer uh, journalist uh, Fabrizio Romano, West Ham and Northland are now reach are now close uh, to reaching an agreement for the 2004-born wing winger Ibrahim Osman. And now negotiations are advancing fast, around 18 million euros. New round of talks scheduled for today and tomorrow to get it done between all parties. And it was it's a great news on the front for Ghana as our uh, young star who is a graduate of Right to Dream Academy and currently with Norseland is set to make another big move following the footsteps of Kudus Mohammed and Kamal Dean Suleimana. So that has been it for today. Talking to you about Inyaki Williams' return to his club side. He's set to feature in tonight's game uh, versus Barcelona, Osman Ibrahim courting the attention of West Ham United, talks in advanced positions, and also the Mass Pep Te Party welcoming his first daughter and Jiku's apology uh, to God.